Hey guys, my name is Lungle Tabete and I'm the head makeup artist for Scarlet Hill Beauty. Today I created this beautiful Valentine's Day look, but I bet you wouldn't know which products I use, so do stay tuned to find out. Okay, let's get started. We're going to be doing an eye look and we're going to be using gloss instead of eyeshadow. We will mix it up with eyeshadow, but this is going to be our main tool for today. So I prepped my eyes using the Scarlet Hill BB Cream in the color Vanilla Swirl and I've used a lighter shade because you want to, use, to make sure that whatever color you use on top is intensified so that's why I used a lighter shade than what I'd normally use for the rest of my face. So I've prepped it with that and then we're going to start um, by combining these two colors, the coral color and the pink um, lip glosses. And I'm just going to use a dome shaped brush. This is going to help me blend the product in better. Just like so. And then once I've blended it, I'm going to use my dome shaped brush. I'm going to dip into that slightly. And you want to build the product and not put too much product at once. So what we're going to do is a really bright eye and a softer color on the lips today. You want to blend it in and bring it out at the corner because we're going to cut the crease and bring it out in the corner. So you're basically creating a bit of a wing. I always do both eyes at the same time. That just helps me make sure that I am basically getting the same eye. I mean, you don't want one to be summer vacation and the other to be winter wonderland. You don't want that. And as you can see, you have the shape that you wanted without even cutting the creases yet. So as you can see, I didn't blend the color all the way to my waterline because um, I'm going to be applying, cutting the crease using the Scarlet Hill BB Cream in the shade of Vanilla Swirl. <laughs> okay, so to cut the crease, I'm gonna be using an angled brush. And I'm just gonna apply a bit of the BB Cream on the back of my hand to warm up the product. So you wanna build product up as opposed to putting too much product at first, right? So now we are going to cut the crease. So as you can see, I've cut the crease in the center of the eye while all over the lid. And then at the end, I just swinged it out to go with the way that my color that I had applied, the gloss, um, so that it's an outward uh, cut crease. Then what I do is fill in the rest of the eye. So when you are cutting the crease, it's all about precision. It has to be completely straight because when you put on the eyeshadow or powder on top to set it, it's going to show if the actual line wasn't straight. Okay, that is looking amazing! So what we're going to do next is set the eye while it is still looking like perfection. So I am going to be using the color chairs from the Smoky palette. This eyeshadow is perfect for setting your crease because it doesn't have a lot of fallout. Okay, so perfect. You have that beautiful transition from the cut crease to the two lip glosses that we turned into an eyeshadow. So I'm going to do the other eye now. So guys, now that I've cut both sides of my crease, I'm just going to blend the color in a bit more so it looks super, super smooth. And I'm not adding any product to my dome shaped brush. All I'm doing is using whatever product was left on the brush. Applying mascara first just helps the false lashes blend well with your natural lashes. So as you can see, this is already just making my lashes look so amazing and full. Triple grade mascara. Bam! 
Okay guys, so I've prepped my lashes, um, my false lashes with the glue. It doesn't really matter whether the glue is black or if it's a clear glue, as long as you make sure that you wait for it to be tacky, then you can use whatever glue you have available. So, you can press it with your hands and easy. Lashes should not scare you. They are very easy to apply. They are very easy to take off. So don't be scared by it. It really makes the eyeshadow look just pop a whole lot more. Place it in the center first and then pull it to the outer corner of your eye and the inner corner. Then press the false lash with your natural lash together. I'm going to finish this look off with a beautiful lip. So with lip color, I'm going to go, because I went bright on my eye, you don't want to go bright and bright because you, you want the eye to focus on one area. And today it is the eyes. I am going to be using this one over here. The nude pinky color because I feel like it will complement my eye really well. As you can see, that's super, super nudie but it still gives me a beautiful pink undertone to it and that's it we are done for today's valentine's day look i hope that you guys enjoy valentine's day share all your creations with me and hashtag scarlet hill beauty on social media i can't wait to see all your beautiful beautiful looks <laughs>